Uh, I came on to the project um, yeah, with the first book. I did the interiors. I, they had me, someone else did the first cover, and they needed to bring someone else on for the interiors because of a scheduling conflict or something with the other artist. And so that's how I joined in on this project, which has grown. I heard it was only going to be three books when I first spoke to him, and we're about to work on number six. And I just met the author about a year ago, I mean a month ago, and he said it's going to go to eight, which... I'm not even sure if it's going to stop there. He's a writing machine. <laughs> but the work is, um, this is all scratch board, which, or scraper board, depending upon where you're from. Um, are you familiar with it, or do you want me to just... Um, let's talk about it a little bit. I mean, I sort of vaguely remember doing it, like, in As elementary school. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, with crayon. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's pretty much the similar, it's not that far different. It's just a little more refined. This is basically... Um, as you can see, this is SD, and this is a British product, but it's a piece of illustration board, like cardboard, with white clay over it. Mm -hmm. And then I buy the, the the certain type that has a black ink that's machine laid over it or mm -hmm. put down on it. And then I scrape away the black areas with a exacto blade, a razor, pretty much, a, like a scalpel. But it's a number 16 blade for those at home <laughs> that are trying to figure it out. And I just scrape it away and come up with these images. So obviously there's a lot of removal going on in some of these and less in something like this. Uh, unfortunately, I think I brought in a lot of pieces that are, are mostly black chapter illustrations where the, the type, the white paragraph of type is showing up um, that way. So I think I could open up the book and show you if yeah. you want me to help. That, like right here, we have this character is called Blood Eye and she's a witch who has a hypnotic red filled blood, her bloody filled eye that can uh, mm. hypnotize her enemies. And so what happens is I'm always working around with the interiors of the, of the series by doing these chapter illustrations and leaving some sort of blank space in the center for the chapter head or paragraph. Mm. So my challenge mostly with this with this series is working out these chapter illustrations and getting art to fit around this, this space. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I stretch things a little bit by making hair a little bit bigger to fit a square. If you, <laughs> you can see how obvious that is, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a challenge. And is it the sort of thing where you can sort of like correct yourself? I mean, if you make a mistake while you're doing it, do you pretty much have to start over? There's there's a couple different like fail safes. I guess there's always you can just put a pen. You can use a pen and just go over any of these areas, maybe a little bit. You can't keep correcting things, though, because it will eventually destroy the material. Mm -hmm. So and the thing that happens after that is um, I don't have the book cover here with me, but one of the earlier, maybe the second book cover, or the first one I did, I they didn't like the, the face I put on Tom, the main character. He was a little too gruff looking, I think, in it. And so I just went in and I digitally, I, I made another one by hand, but then dropped it in digitally onto the piece. And so that's how you can correct a lot. With um, this one, I don't think we have the book around, but I put a background in digitally too. That was easier to do than to have to put it in there so we could play with it some more. Uh, and